Hello everyone and welcome back to the Happy Collector Scams channel on YouTube. My name is Mike and today we're going to be playing a little bit more Thief. Um, now, as you probably remember from the last episode, we're in this freaky ass asylum uh, where crazy horrible things are happening. There's jump scares all over the place. I hate literally everything about this place, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to try and see if we can get through to the other side of this level. Um, so as far as I remember, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get into that room that I found. Um, there's a checkpoint up there. It's the one with all the light in, and I've gone completely the wrong way, as usual. Um, so let's let's jump back in. Let's dive in again. We'll carry on around this corner. Um, now. It's been a little while since I played uh, Thief because I have been away on holiday, as you may have seen on the Twitter or on the, uh, well, anywhere else that you've seen our stuff. I'm going to carry on crouching because I hate this room. Um, and yes, so I haven't picked up this game in a while. I've completely forgotten how uh, horrible it was the last time. I couldn't bring myself to watch the video again um, because even actually even editing that video was really difficult for me um, because it's the first horror video I have ever edited together. Um, and that is a hell of a thing. Um, well, for me, anyway, it was it was quite difficult um, having to watch all the jump scares again, knowing when they were going to happen, and then having to go through it and jump and, you know, wet myself and all that other lovely stuff that, you know, people do. Um, but anyway, <laughs> rambling on, um, let us find a way to get into this room. Um, there weren't too many comments on the last video, so... I haven't been able to ascertain exactly how we're meant to get back into this room. Um, we still can't get into there, although I remember that was the room that was shown on the first part of like when we actually walked into the asylum. Um, yes, so let's try our utmost to get into here. Now because there are bolts across the door, I'm assuming that we need some kind of key or there's some kind of mechanism that will let us in here. But I really don't know where that would be. Um, because the checkpoint thing is literally just saying that we need to be in there. Oh, hello. What happened there? I kicked something. I kicked something again. Um, so, how do we get in here? Is there another way in? I remember that this door around here was shut and locked or barred off. Or Yeah, here you go. It's broken in. Like, completely broken in. Uh, and so we can't get in that way. Uh, is there any... Actually, are there any clues as to how we get in? Hello? Can we see anything? Hello? I probably shouldn't be calling, actually. That's probably a really bad idea. Okay. Well, anyway, let's, uh, let's see what's over this way, then. Because I don't think we really went this way before. We definitely went in there. That's Fire Lady Room, so we probably don't want to go in there. There was someone in here who was saying something about... Has that person been given their wine? Um, I don't know whether that meant any- <gasps> Fuck me! Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Go away! Go away, I don't like you! Ho ho ho! Oh god! I am in immediate hate of this! Oh god! Oh, shiny! Ah, oh, I missed something. Hooray! Scissors! Uh, right! Well! It begins! Um... I, I hate all of this. <laughs> I I don't like horror games. I do not deal very well with horror games at all. And, uh, well, for me, this is like, well, this is hell in a handbasket. Um, but we have to get through it. We've got to find a way. Maybe we were meant to follow that lady. I can't remember. Um, there's definitely something following us. And actually, before I loaded this game... I can't get into Fire Lady Room. Before I loaded this game, it said something about freaks being able to sense when you're using, um, uh, when you're using focus. Now, I don't know what freaks are. I can only assume that they are bad. Um, and because there has been something following us this entire time, you remember when we were down in the old, uh, in the old underground hall bit, and there was that thing that climbed up the wall, and... We, we never really got to the bottom of what that actually was. I thought it was going to come out and, you know, eat all of our faces, and then it didn't. I think that might be one of what we're looking for. Um, 
but who knows. Anyway, once again, I've rambled on and on and on and not actually made any progress. So let's see. There's something over there. There's definitely a way we can get into that room. Um, although it's not immediately obvious to me how we do it. So is there anything I'm missing? Should we check the map? Well, the map doesn't really help. That is like the worst thing ever. It's it's so small. It tells you literally nothing. Um, maybe, maybe we're meant to like break into there. I thought originally we might be able to get in there from underneath, but it seems like we can't. In fact, I may just very very quickly go back the way we came and see if there is a route into that room because it seems weird that you simply wouldn't be able to get in there. Hello. Hello. Nope. Okay, fine. It's just really, really eerie. Also, I've noticed that the camera moves around, like, of its own volition. Um, like, if you stop moving, basically the camera very slowly tilts to the side. And that is really off-putting. Um, for those of you who are interested in film, actually, I studied a little bit of film when I was back in college. Uh, not American-style college, I mean like sixth form. And that is a technique that's meant to be used to throw you off your balance. Um, and that was interesting. I can't remember the name of the guy who developed that technique, but he was definitely Russian. Um, although I think now what I'm actually doing is I am rambling to try and cover up my own fear of the situation. Uh, what can we do in here? This was a thing that we could get into, but seemingly not something that we can actually use. Is there anyone in there? No? Hello? Hello? Um, have we got our... Have we got our rope arrows anywhere. Yeah, here we go. Number eight. Rope arrows. Hello, rope arrows. Can we shoot anything up there? Seemingly not. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Where the hell am I meant to go? Let's go back in here. I think this is the way. I think this is a good thing to do. So the room that we need to be in is now immediately above us. Okay, so... This, there must be something about this hallway. There must be something about being here. What? Map? Hello? Map. Provide me the answers, map. Is it the toilets? Is it the freaky toilets with the horrible floor? Is it the freaky toilets? Do we have to look at the horrible floor? Do we... Hello, horrible floor. I know that you are the horrible floor. I dislike this. I dislike this a lot. Am I meant to do something with the horrible floor? Right. Horrible floor. <gasps> Fuck. Oh, good God. It's just a cloth on the wall. Horrible floor. It's you and me. Let's do this. Okay, so nothing happened. Um, okay, well, that was rubbish. I love how it's incredibly tense and yet... Hello? Nothing has happened. There are definitely really, really kind of disturbing noises happening, but there is no one. And I feel like, I feel like I'm just kind of going round in circles now. I don't really know what it is that we're, we're meant to, to do to get into that room. Or at least there doesn't seem to be any obvious immediate way to get into that room. I thought it might be... Actually, I was thinking about this the other day. I thought it might be the case that this was this would be like a shifting walls kind of uh, like thing. Where what you have to do is you have to go into a certain area and that changes another area. Did the map just flicker? Okay, that's that's ominous. Um, but yeah, apparently that's that's not the case. Because of course when we were in the dream and we had the... And we had Erin talking to us... She was saying um, something about having uh, having to get a key, and she was saying, you know, that we needed to look behind us, and the the background, the what was behind us, changed to that weird statue, which was the statue that we saw at the front of um, of the place here, wherever the hell this is. Um, these bars, come on, bars, give me a clue. What do I need to do? What would, what would, what would, like, I don't know, Valve and Steam do in this situation? What, what would Steve Jobs do if he were given this task? Open a door, they'd say, and Steve Jobs would find some kind of ingenious way to open the door with technology, and it'd be the simplest thing to use, and, you know, it would just work, and everything would be great. However, 
I don't think Steve Jobs is um, going to help us in this particular instance. Um, what do we do? Where do we go? This way. There's blood on the floor. Let's go back the way we came a little bit. See if this provides us with any answers. This is where um, the Moon was. Faceless Moon. Well, not Faceless Moon, but the Moon who was basically just standing there. Um, oh, I love corridors where the curtains flap. Oh, I, I love that. That's what I like. What in the hell is that noise? Is this is this just ominous background noise, or is there actually something that's coming for me? Because if there is, then, well, fuck this. <laughs> screw, screw all of this. I don't like it. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. That's where we used the key to get in before, and that's what let us into that room. There's a random football there. Or basketball or something. Maybe we haven't been in here? Hello? Hello? Is this the front? Is this where we came in? Oh, yes, it is. This is the way to, um... Yeah, this is the way to the men's ward that we were originally in. So... Actually, what we've done is we've gone in one really long-ass circle. Why are there candles on? Why are there candles on? I don't like this. Something's going to happen. There's a shiny thing on the table, though. And I really want that! Results. Okay. Maybe maybe results will give us a clue as to what we actually have to do. Here we go. Chapter 5. R -r -r results. Here we go. Dear Eliza... I know, your opinion, I know your opinion of me, but that doesn't discount the work that I do here. Regardless of your personal qualms, I get results. The same can't be said for the codding, uh, cod, coddling that happens up in the regular wards. How many patients have you cured in the past month? The last year. If your role as a doctor is too stressful for you, you might want to consider another profession. I hear the House of Blossoms is hiring. Ooh. Oh, he was an angry man. He was a very angry man. I don't really know why he was so angry, but he was. Right, okay, anyway, back to, um, back to Operation Get Into The Room and actually continue this roller coaster ride of horribleness. Um, where the hell are we meant to go and what in the Christ are we meant to do? I don't understand. I think there's something blindingly obvious that I am simply missing. Either that or the game has completely glitched out and I now can't get into that room for reasons unbeknownst to me. Because Fire Lady Room, I remember we could get into Fire Lady Room and then it now just simply won't let us. I mean, what, what do you do here? I don't know. I don't know. Are we meant to look in the horrible room? Let's look in here again. I know I'm going to regret doing this, but let's just fucking go for it. Hello? There's a chair. There's everything. The eyes are all closed. Oh, maybe that's symbolic. Maybe there are four closed eyes on the wall. Maybe that means there are four locked doors that we need to open before we can get into there. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to work this out as we go along, but I am... Struggling to say the least. <laughs> I am I am really struggling to work out what in God's name we are meant to do. This room it has a fire in it. That room has a fire in it. Is that something that means something? I really don't know. This is ultimately very confusing, and I rather dislike it. Maybe we should use focus. Hello. Hello. Has that summoned the evil? Has that done anything? I think I think the noise is uh, getting closer. It's hard to tell though. It's hard to tell if anything's actually happening. I'm I'm just kind of stumbling through. I'm going to try and look in all of these rooms to see if there's something that I've missed. Nothing is immediately obvious. Nothing is shining. Focus. No, there's nothing in here. Okay. That's that's something at least then. Oh, what was that? I saw something up here. Hello? I saw something. There was definitely something here. No? Was I seeing things? I think I may have been. I thought I saw something glow blue here. There was like something we could use. Seemingly not. Oh god. Okay, fine. To the internet.
Oh. Oh. Oh, what's this? Oh. Hello, everyone. I'm back. And I found the way in. I've done it. So there was a box on the wall here. Oh, shit. Which I needed to uh, collect. Uh, not collect. I needed to open so that I could get into this room. Apparently, it was literally as simple as me being a massive moron. So, um, yes. So now we're in. Hooray! We've done it. And it's only taken me like 300 million years to actually find out what the hell we're meant to be doing. That is a lovely stool. Why is it so shiny, though? I have never seen a stool as shiny as this stool. Um, anyway, yes. So, let us continue through this horrid, horrible place. While I was away, actually, someone was saying something about fogs and storms and and change, and I, I've got a really bad feeling that something bad is going to happen here. I'm going to steal this teapot, and then some of the evil's going to come! Hello? I'm, I am now actually too scared to look behind me. Oh, God. I could have told them you were trouble. Oh, God. What did you do? Oh, God. Okay, what does that say, then? So, documents. So this must be something about Erin that we found again. So we got aggression again. Uh, all patients have been exhibiting aggression. And patient transfer. Here we are. Uh, it pains me to confirm your inquiry, um, but the fact that patient 18 will undergo the procedure in room 3F as you fear. I thought we'd be uh, we'd close the door on that room for horrors uh, years ago. Uh, of horrors, sorry, not for horrors. That, it, although, I'm sure that both mean the same thing. Um, the subject is classified for selective experimentation on the instruction of Baron Northcrest himself. This is the last time I sign a patient over to the treatment centre. They need doctors, not butchers. Uh, Huntfield will be taking over this subject in all aspects. I pity the girl, Thurlow. You, uh, may she find peace somewhere in her madness. Nurse Umbril. Show me. Okay. Okay. So basically what happened was Erin was selected to go and undertake some kind of thing. And, uh, hello? Oh, hello? Oh no, that really sounds bad. And then after she'd undertaken that, um, basically she was selected, uh, well, she was probably removed from here. Aha! There's a way! Guys! We found a way! Oh, was that door? Yeah, that's the that's the barred up door. Okay, that's fine. Right, let's jump over to here. Through the hole in the wall. Yes! Yes, we found a lady a way into fire lady room. Oh, oh guys, we've done it. We've done it. Oh shit. This whole thing isn't just going to be me flailing around and hoping to find the way that we need to go. Um, part of it is actually going to be me stumbling around in the dark. Again, not actually knowing what the hell we're meant to do. I can probably turn the map off now, actually, now that we, we don't really need that anymore. Um, okay. Fire Lady Room complete. Where do we go from here? So the quest marker says that we're meant to go over there. So let us make our way that way. I am going to stay in the rafters. I didn't even realize there was this, like, rafter system here. Um, I figured that this was actually going to be, like, a completely... What the fuck? A uh, wheelchair? Where are you going? <laughs> wheelchair. Wheelchair, you're drunk. I don't like you. Wheelchair. I don't like you. You're... Oh, God. I really don't want to go around this corner. All right, okay, let's do it. Hello. Hello, random things. Hello, evil. I am here to vanquish you. Well, not probably. Actually, I'm here to run away. But, like, I don't know. Vanquishing might happen. Believe me this. Evil things. Don't be through this. Don't be in here. I don't like any of this. Oh, God, we're in a really narrow corridor now. This is a really narrow space. Oh, 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 oh God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, we're in a new area now. Um, the treatment level. Okay, so, yes, this is the way we're meant to be going. I tried not to read too many spoilers while I was bumbling around on the internet. Um, uh, so I haven't spoiled this for myself. At least I don't think that I have. Um, I'm just gonna hide over here in this corner. Um, so, I, basically, all I wanted to do was find out 
what we needed to do to get into that room. Um, and that's literally all I looked at. So don't worry, guys. Everything that you see from this point on is definitely not put on. I am genuinely shitting myself because I don't know what's going to happen next. And, well, I guess you're all on this roller coaster ride with me. So let's enjoy it, guys. Here we go. Down the stairs, through the pointless stairs, into this room of probable death and possible destruction. Evil things! Hello? Oh, fuck me! Jesus Christ! Fuck you, birds! I hate you! I don't like you! You're not nice, and I thought birds were meant to be on my side. I thought the birds were meant to be happy. Birds, why are you not happy? Door, please be shut now. I don't... That was... That was way too ominous. Um, fuck! What? What? What in the Christ? What in the Christ? Who are you? Why am I suspended in midair? Oh, 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 oh no. There's a ladder down there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I don't like this. What the fuck? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Oh, oh no. No, oh, no, there's a stairs. There's a stairs going up, and there's a stairs going I'm going up. That's right. Fuck you. Fuck you. Whatever you were. I don't like you. I. Oh, God. Oh, no. The only way is down. Guys, it's like that TV show, except instead of being set in Essex, it's set in a really horrible, horrible asylum in the middle of some fucking island in the middle of nowhere where random things appear and scare the shit out of you. And that's their only purpose. I don't like this. I don't like this. Ugh. What are you, door? What are you, door? You're an evil door. I don't like you, door. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, door. No. No. Oh. Shit. 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 What was that? Why was that a thing? I've got my arrows now. I've got better arrows now. Oh, what are we in? Attention. X. X. Ex what? Exitable patients. Okay, that's fine. Exit. Does that mean the we're at the exit? Does that mean this? Oh shit! There's a button. Oh god. Does that mean we can? Oh, we can go down here. Okay, fine. I'm going down here now. I don't like anything that's up there, so I'm going to take this golden magnifying glass. I don't know why someone would leave that on top of a lift. What are you playing at, random person? I really want to press this button, but I know it's going to lead to evil. Oh fuck it! Right. Okay. Button. Go. Hello? Button, what did you do? Button? Button, what have you done? Oh, Jesus. Find room 3F. Okay, fine. Okay. There's holes in the walls. The fucking long corridor as well. Oh, dear God. Okay, that way we can't go. Okay. Um, I guess what's behind door number one? Oh, damn. Oh, all dead, but the shadows, they Hello? were taken by the shadows. Oh, the shadows have been hungry. Oh, what? Since she went away. Oh. Have they? Well, I'm sure that they have. Do I want to press the button? Yes. Oh, no. I regret that decision. What have I done? Why, why are there a load of buttons that don't do anything? Okay. All right. Okay, fine. What's behind this door? Oh! A button! And a mun! Okay! Alright, button! That button also did nothing! I think. I don't know. I'm not certain what I'm doing anymore. All I know is I'm probably meant to get in there. Okay, so that was 3C. Hydra. What the? Hydra. Wow, okay. Hydrotherapy. Um, that didn't look like hydrotherapy to me. Fuck me! Oh, dear God. They're hurting me. Oh. There's too much pain. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you dead. <laughs> I I didn't mean to do that. It was an involuntary thing. What does this say? I don't know. Oh, God. Okay, let's look in here. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 Not standing next to the door. No. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there's glass all over the floor. And this. What the fuck? 
Was that on fire? Why was that on fire? Fire lady? Are you following me? I don't... Alright, fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Silently go over the glass. Ooh. Fire lady! Fire lady! Hello! Oh god, I don't like... I don't like any of this. So that was an empty room. What the fuck? Excuse your good self? Why did you... Why did you rattle? If you wanted to be freed, then you should have asked politely. These doors need power. There's probably a generator down here somewhere. Oh, right, okay. So that's why the buttons don't do anything. Of course they're out of power. Why else would they be... Ah. Uh, oh, God. Experimental treatment. Oh, great. Okay, so we're about to find out why... Why are these random shapes on the floor? What are these? Who are you? Shapes? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I think I stepped on a little bit of glass. Okay. Alright. Let's go back to what we know. Let's pick these locks, steal the shinies, and hopefully all the badness will go away. Um, uh, hello? Oh, flash bombs. Oh, that'll be incredibly useful, actually, if we need to get away from something, which we invariably will. Um, right. What's in here? No. Anything in here? Oh, elevator lock. Oh, that'll be useful. Okay, let's have a let's have a quick read. Um, we want to read the elevator lock thing. Elevator lock. Here we go. Pete, I have to ask a favor of you. Um, the elevator to the reformation is currently open access. Anyone can just waltz in and pay a visit to maximum security. If you'd like to install a locking, uh, I'd like you to install a locking a locking mechanism. I can't speak because my hands are full of sweat and I am scared. Um, this isn't just for safety of those in the reformation, but for the safety of our patients here in the asylum as well. What happens if one of Hunt Huntfield subjects gets loose? The patients on the upper levels would be defenseless. Think about it. I'll get you whatever clearance you need, Eliza. Okay, so whatever those things are in the room, they look like people. I'm guessing they're not people. They are just made of evil now, thanks to Huntfield and his stupid experiments. Okay, what's in this room then? Come on, come on. Hello, hello. Oh, there's a chair. Oh, there's several chairs. Okay, that that was a good room. That was just full of chairs. That's fine. I don't care if a room is full of chairs, even if it's called sensory deprivation. That's absolutely fine. Oh dear God, is this the generator room? What is going to happen? I'm going to press the thing, and it's going to turn on the generator, and all the doors are going to come flying open, and then all the evilness in the world will come after me, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, okay. Right. I think... I think I've just got to calm down. At the moment, everything is fine. I'm stealing syringes left, right, and center. I'm being offered food a lot, though, which is a little bit dis disconcerting because any RPG gamer will know if you're being offered a lot of food, that only means one thing, and that one thing is that you are about to be attacked. And I don't know where I'm about to be attacked from. I'm going to stand in this cupboard for a short period of time because I think that this is... Yep, that's an autosave point. Um, and then it is time. It is time to turn on the generator, which I'm assuming is this massive kachunker here. There's a door there. I don't like that door. All right. Okay. Here we go, then. Oh, here we go. Generator. Hide in cupboard. Hide in cupboard. Hide in cupboard. Hide in cupboard. Hide in the cupboard. Okay. We've turned on the generator. Um... Excellent. And I'm afraid, guys, unfortunately, we are out of time. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode or these last couple of episodes. I'm sorry if you aren't a fan of horror. I certainly am not a fan of horror. Um, and, well, I'm sure that this will all be over soon. If you are a fan of horror and you are enjoying these videos, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And in the meantime, guys, I will see you in the next one. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.